big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, and a big thanks to all of these donators of $5 or more, including An Enthusiast, Brian D0313, Dead Zergling, Dragon RPGM Mag, Radio Raptor, Vlad Tepish3176, and Wretch435. You're all helping to make these episodes possible. Howdy, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here. And today we are playing some more um, Vampire Killer for the MSX. So, the good news is I have changed emulators and styles and all that stuff, so hopefully it won't continuously crash on me. It still might. So, what's the bad news? There is no bad news. That's good. Although, I did not um, figure out which buttons did what before I started, so... My jump and my whip buttons are reversed. That's always a blast, but... What you gonna do, right? Also, I know the aspect ratio is a bit off, but... Um, apparently, this is how the game's supposed to look, so... What can you do? Anyway, I'm trying a few new strategies this time. For instance, I am planning to make a beeline towards the exit. Not that it'll do me any good, since I continuously forget where the exit is and where the key is. But while we're here, we might as well try one thing. Now, I've noticed that jumping over the this, to the left, often crashes the game. Let's see if it still does. Did not. Well, let's not get too uh, thrilled about it yet, because all the bad things could still happen anytime. I don't want to get my hopes up, because we all know how that works. Another thing is that I still have no pause button, which is a shame because the uh, better news, aside from just the good news, is that I got myself another case of beer for this episode. And I'm hoping that it uh, really helps me to feel a lot better about everything that goes on here. Aha! The day is mine! And now all of a sudden it's not. Fair enough. Oh, you panther. You rapscallious scamp. So, if we get 50 hearts, we can maybe try looking into some of these things. But, if we don't get 50 hearts, I'm not going to be too uh, keen on worrying about it, because this is the important part. The sooner we get the hell out of here, the less likely I am to accidentally crash the game. Although, we are very close. Ah, choices. So many choices. Perhaps the best thing would be to just move on. Not that I'm doing a fantastic job of it, but, you know, whatever. One does what one can. Now we got some hearts to play with. Now, here's the good question. Where was that, um, cross-selling merchant? Because that was a cool thing to get. Are you he? Um, nope, you're a shield. Yeah. No, thanks. I can get a shield just about anywhere, mister. And we still have the axe here, which... I'm gonna try to hang on to this a little longer. I'm sure it won't come to any fruition. But I'm gonna try. By gum. Alright. 
Next we have an hourglass. Perfect, perfect. Okay, we definitely want to get that multiple times in the future. Also, let's see what Guy McDude here has for us. You have a potion, which I can't afford. And now I have done fucked up. That's no good, man. No es bueno, friend. Well, if only I had gotten that potion in time, but I needed like 80 hearts. If it had been cheaper, I could have had it, but it wasn't. So, next question. Can I get a potion at a reasonable price? Probably not. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Ah! <laughs> the joke was very nearly on me. I deserved that. I got smug. And there I go. My smugness has once again been my downfall. Who would have ever thought that hubris would be a bad thing? Except for everyone ever who knows anything about anything. That was not a good way to go. Blue Jewel. What's it do? I don't know. Hourglass. I know what that does. And I like it. I love it. I want some more. I want fewer panthers. Okay. Ah, damn it. Couldn't dodge them all. Wait a minute. Why don't I just go back to the left and, like, um... Exit the level. That would be the wise thing to do. There's my 20 hearts cross. I want that. I super duper, ultra really, really super really want that. So I need to make sure that I remember where that is in the future. It's above that weird multi-layered room. So, when I go back, it's gonna cost more. Probably. Chances are. Chances are better than- oh yeah, I have to get the key again because... I have lost it. How is it that I keep forgetting where exactly the key is, anyway? Seems like the kind of thing I'd be able to remember from, like, two seconds ago. Seriously worried that I'm got some kind of mental disorder, and I tried to jump, but I hit the wrong button, because, again... The buttons have been quite reversed. You sell the thing, but I don't have enough hearts. Can I get enough hearts? Can I whip the crap out of these zombies until I get enough hearts? Probably not. They don't seem to be dropping much of anything. You know what? I'm just gonna grab a chest. The old Gropomatic. I'm gonna have to start this one over again. I can tell already. I have not done well here. Might as well reset now, but... Bless my stupid heart. I'm gonna just keep going anyway. Alright, that's not it. That was so close to being right, and yet, at the end... Um... Hello? Well, I can't say I've ever had the game crash on me there before, but at least it's new.
Okay, hold on a sec. Alright, here we go again. Goodness gracious me. What a load of glitch. And Konami released this as a finished product. I mean... Maybe it wasn't forwards compatible with later releases of the hardware, or... You know what? I don't even know. It's all quite the mystery. But we'll untangle it together, so we shall. I have switched the... MSX BIOS to the MSX1. So far, it seems to be working. But you would think that a game that works on the MSX1 would also work on the MSX2. This honestly does bear, like, um, research. But I'm too lazy to do it. Alright. So we're going to save these hearts, and we're going to use them in the next level to try to get the cross, which is a boomerang that doesn't be destroyed when you hit the... Um... Whatchamacallit? Bricks with it. Yeah. Okay. And away we go. I hope this will be enough. There always exists the possibility that um, because I have enough hearts right off the bat, dude will charge me more. It's happened a time or two. Or three, or twelve. I'll be taking this. I uh, thank you very much. Aha! Anticipated what was going to happen when it hit the edge of the screen there. Now, if only I were smart enough to anticipate everything all the time and memorize certain locations and happenstances, we'd be in great shape. Wait. That doesn't even last past this level, does it? Does it? I don't think it does. No, it does. Okay. That's cool, then. I'll be taking that. I want some more. I don't want to accidentally lose my axe. Because that would be an real axe. Accident. <laughs> get it? You get it? You get it. Uh. Yo, Kiro. No tango. Alright. Blue gem. Still don't know what that does. We go over here. We travel over this area, and then we head down and hit up the merchant. And yes, I will take that. Thank you very much, my good man. Hot damn. Our trusty Jesus harangue will show us the way. I hope. No promises. Alright. Let's just make it through. Run, 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 run! Duck, 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 duck! Goose! Aha! Day is mine. Kind of. No! Well, the day was mine. 
It's a little less mine now, but maybe later it'll be mine again. You know, I've still got a stopwatch. One of the very few games in this series where that's actually been useful. Yeah, it's an orb. Think I'm gonna grab it? No. Oh. The music just started on its own. Well, fine. I'll grab it now. I was going to take this time to open another beer. But I guess the game just doesn't feel like being paused at all, ever. Ah. Got better at that. Now, I think that guy sells a potion, because that was like the first guy that I found that actually did something. Wait, did that refill my health as well? No. The end of the level did that. I don't know what happened. Anyway, I really, really, really have to worry about slimes in this level, so... And Medusa Heads, which I have to worry about all the time, day and night. They haunt my dreams. They... Hey! There we go. That's alright then. Right, Mr. Bat. Everybody wants to be a bat, because a bat's the only cat who knows where it's at. That is not how that song goes at all. But it's what I went with. Because I'm a Saiyan. So, if I just automatically start whipping after I get a candle? That seems to do a pretty good job of avoiding bats for me. I'll take it. You know, whatever works. Whatever you do, game, don't give me any continues or anything. Oh, I accidentally used the other thing. Uh, I don't really need the chest that badly. More than the chest, what I'd really like to do is just make some progress this time. That would be really cool, if I could just get past this next area. And I've never gotten there with this many extra lives. Well, not extra lives so much as just the lives that I should have gotten here with in the first place. And now... The woes begin. So many woes and troubles. Oh, I could totally get that chest. Yeah, yeah! Haha! <laughs> Take that! Ah, that was satisfying. So was watching that thing die. Here's the problem. Medusa heads abound. But the good news is... I've got some of these here. Um, oh, you know what? I think I missed a holy water. Oh well. Shit. That was on me. Let's try really hard not to die. Let's try to hit the actual correct button. So much for that. That's janked up, man. Punishment feels good! Yeah, I wish I had that again. Too bad I don't. Uh... Well, that worked. Hello. Oh, there's the key that I... Yeah, I should probably make sure I get that every time in the future. And... 
Another good thing that I could possibly do is to not fuck up. But we already knew that. And get there from here. And also... Last! There better be something good in here. There wasn't. Spoiler alert. This is not going to end well. No, it, it, it sure didn't. Well, anyway, that was the first attempt. Let's... Accidentally fucking... Um... Exit out of the program instead of hitting pause. Because the MSX doesn't pause very well, now does it? Does it? Uh, Alright, be back in just a second. Okay, we are back again. A few things to point out before we get started again. The last mistake was on me because I hit escape instead of the menu button so that I could pause and have a beer, so once again, my self-destructive binge drinking has cost me a game. Anyway, another thing. I thought that maybe, just maybe, I'd save before I got here in case the game crashed on me, but if I hit save state, you'll notice the core does not support saves. You cannot save state in MSX. So aside from that, the machine type that I uh, fixed up was the MSX Turbo. And, you know, before I was using the MSX 2 Plus, and that was crashing, I tried the regular MSX, but it turns out you had to restart, and when I tried restarting, it did not work at all. So, right now, the MSX Turbo R is what we're using. So, those are the conditions of how I'm playing right now. So, we'll see how it goes. Oh, and when I tried to buy the cross from the guy in the area where you buy the cross from, it was 80 hearts. So, fuck me. I guess. Anyway, I'm just gonna try beating up this freaking bat. It's having pitiful success, but whatever. It's not like I get to keep my hearts anyway, so there we go. Yoinks in a way. We're getting better, though. I just have to have- oh! I do get to keep my heart. Well... But I don't get to keep my items? I get to keep my hearts, but not my items? Well, this is a new type of sensation that's sweeping the nation. You know, you learn something new and disappointing every day. I'll take that. Whatever the hell it does. Probably nothing. Fortunately, I can get an axe. Oh, and there's a red jewel. But yeah, there's an axe right up yonder. I just have to make sure I don't get killed by slimes. And to that end, I hit the candle. I immediately duck and attack. And I ain't even trying to mess with stuff in this one. Hello. Goodbye. Hello and goodbye, said the gnarly man with one bitchin' eyebrow. Uh, 
That's an Earthbound reference for those of you keeping score. Ah, what did I say? What did I say not to do when it came to slimes? Okay, that works. See, now, if I want, I could go to that guy and try to buy some health. But, there's no guarantee that I'll have enough money to get that health. Meanwhile, this is gonna be an axe, right? Okay, yeah. Hot diggity dog. And I somehow managed to dodge that, which is nice. And now, once more, we find ourselves at this area. But now, we have an hourglass and an axe. Screw you, doozer head. Screw all the doozer heads. How dare they! I want nothing to do with any of them, you see. And yet... Very difficult to avoid those. Just, uh, keep dodging. Oh! That was a one-shot kill, was it? Are you... a... slime? Or are you some hearts? Because I could use some hearts. There's some hearts. Good. You're probably a slime. I'm not even gonna chance it. Alright, now... we come to the part that I never quite make it past. On account of because it's hard as shit. But we can insta kill these dudes, so that's nice. Um. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna wait till I have 50 hearts before I even talk to that guy. Because. Usually. When I think everything's going great, suddenly it's not. I'm probably going to fall off this area a couple of times. Yep, there's one right there, for instance. God bless a fuzzy brown moo cow. And now I've lost my axe too, great, super, awesome. Bee's tits. Yeah. That's what I thought. Sure do wish I had enough money to buy a thing, but... Fuck! Is it even possible to get through this part? Has anyone in the history of gaming ever gotten through this? This level? I, I would be delighted to fucking know. I'll bet nobody has. I'll bet nobody's ever beaten this game. I'd be willing to wager that it was never playtested, not even once. Well, I'll be the first, damn it. Someone, at some point during the history of this game, had to get through it. They didn't do it like that. I guarantee fucking tea they didn't do it like that. I was going to do a visual gag with a cool picture I took at the park the other day, but... For some reason, my computer won't read the information from my cell phone anymore. And I've tried everything to get it to fucking work. And it doesn't work. Nothing here works! Arga blarga 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 blarga. Annoyances. Angers. This game is horrible. 
Uh, what you gonna do though, right? Someday, in the course of human events, should it become possible that someone asks me, what did you do with your life? And I can be like, well, I beat Castlevania on the MSX, and they'll be like, holy shit, really? I thought that was fucking impossible. And I'll be like, yeah, so did I. But I did it. Eventually, it only took me 12 years of my life. Ugh. Dickweed. Hmm. Wonder if I can kill this guy by jumping from here and whipping. Probably not. Well, maybe. I did not mean to toss that, because that cost me hearts. All right, I have to get that. That's very important. Why do I keep screwing that up? You may wonder that, and I honestly don't have a satisfactory answer for you. All I can say is, it's very hard to figure out exactly how to do this correctly. So far, I've not managed it. That wasn't it. See, I can't duck under it. I can't jump over it. And... Other problems abound. Level is balls. I don't know what to do about it. All right, then meet me back there once again. So here we are again. We got the hearts. But we don't have the items, alas. Oh, and once again, the cross decided to cost 80 hearts. Not sure what dictates that, not sure if it's random, not sure if it's just a big fuck you to me, but uh, yeah. I got there and it was like, eh, I'll take 80 hearts. So I whipped the guy a couple of times and he gave me five hearts. And then I left the screen, then I came back, whipped him a little more, and nothing happened. So I left the screen and I whipped him again, and he was like, eh, yeah, here's some points. You know, what I ought to do is just look up the damn instructions for this game. and figure out what all of these items actually legitimately do. That would be the smart thing. I'm getting wrecked. Okay. I could have sworn that the second one was the axe. There's something wrong with my brain, clearly. Well, ah! Flippity gibbets. All right. Okay. You know what? I haven't been this way in a while. I wonder if there are any merchants that I can intrude upon. I mean, there's one. Hell, maybe I'll even get some good stuff, like whatever the hell that is. 
Maybe it slows down Medusa heads. Wouldn't that be the best item ever if it did that? Spoiler alert, it's not going to do that. But it would be nice if it did. Just the absolute bee's knees. Alright. Damn it! I need health. Flam, 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 flim, like a baby, he's a he, money, money, jimmy, lily, hark, harp. I'm sorry, I was inarticulate with rage for a second there. I'm. I think I'm over it now. Probably not really, but. <sighs> oh. I need this right here. This thing. Go, 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 go. Okay. And hearts. Gonna need some hearts. Then, since I have an axe, once I fall down here, I can kill this guy with one hit and be good. Alright. We're getting there. We're learning new and exciting strategies for this shite level. And in the end, isn't that what we really wanted? I mean, I would have preferred, you know, actually just winning a bunch. That, that would have been cool too, but the odds of that are infinitesimal at this point. The farther we get without losing a life, though, that's what you really want to focus on. Because if we can get all the way to this point without losing a life, we have a better chance of actually doing it correctly. Now, we didn't this time, but... And the only but in this conversation is a spanked one. <sighs> and I fucked up. And now I have no axe, no map. No, whatever, that... Oh, I do still get to keep the map. Well, that's nice. That's damn decent of you, game. The one thing that I don't know what it does. But, hey. You go, guy. Uh, ah! Get me the friggity duck out of here. That's not the kind of getting out of here I was expecting, game. It wasn't. It was not. <laughs> oh, Konami. Uh, you've outdone yourself on this one, friend. Let's take another quick stab and see if we can determine what causes the dude to sell the cross for way more than you would expect. Maybe it's after you pass a certain threshold, or maybe you need the blue and red crystals. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna download the instruction booklet for this game, and... I'm just going to assume that that's going to tell me a thing or two about what the hell is going on here and why things are so rough. It's got to, right? I mean, how bad could things be? There's got to be some logical explanation 
or at least some portion of this crap. And I aims to figure it out. Unaccounted because it hath irked me, and I will not rest until I have figured it out once and for all. Well, at least now I'm moving a little faster. But, um... To what end? Alright. Uh, let's head down here. Oh, right. It's in the second area. This is the knife guy. Which, we don't really need to talk to the knife guy. Ice. See that? At least I'm getting the hang of where things exist in a two-dimensional space when it comes to figuring out where the hell things are in this level, so that's cool. It's not something I've done in the past. Sadly. Me and my his poor navigational skills, you know. Alright. Don't need to go... Ah! Needed to do something. These bats are just the worst. I know there's another guy down there, but he sells a shield, and I don't need a shield. I mean, I do need a shield, but I need a shield that actually shields you, not just like this game's sorry excuse for a shield that, as far as I can tell, does very little of anything. I almost fell in the pit there. That would have been bad. Um... Right. I suppose I could check this guy up here and see what he sells, because that I do not remember. What you got there, buddy? Uh... Can't afford that. Gimme hearts. Thou art giving me hearts, good. 69, 3200. 8,300, okay. So yeah, that worked out. I got more points and more hearts. I like that. That's what I need. Now, if I can manage to get 80 before I talk to Cross Guy, I'll be in even better shape. Because then I can guarantee that I can actually get the cross. That, however, is iffy at best. Let's start with this chest. Well, it's a cross, so... I can't really say that... Whoa! And I took the hit anyway. Lovely. What you got? Blue gem. Blue geole. And this would be an hourglass. Okay, good, good, good. Shit! Ah, I fucked up. Again. I do it from time to time, you know. It's not a surprise, it happens. Well, whatever. <sighs> you. Sell me thing. 80. I don't have 80. I'm sorry to say. And now I have even fewer. Delightful. That did not help. What's the opposite of help? A hindrance? Yeah, that was a pretty big-ass hindrance. Fortunately, 
there's another thing to consider. I think there's another level in this level that I rarely visit that I could go up to. No, I don't guess there is. Well, Budgels. Isn't there? Should be. No, that's not it. Hmm. Maybe I was imagining things. Why didn't I have that a lot sooner? I don't know. Seriously, though, wasn't there like an upper deck? Maybe that was... Oh, you know what? I bet that was in the previous level and I completely skipped it. Well, gee it. <sighs> yep, that's about how I feel about that boss at this point. Now, how can I leverage these hearts into an advantage? Because I'm probably going to die real fast. Unfortunately. I mean, I don't like it, like it that I will, but... At some point, you have to face reality. You also have to memorize where the slimes are, and I'm only half successful at that. At most. Are you a thing? Well, that's a shield. I'm gonna have to drop down here. Crap! Your health. Which I. Oh, right, the slime. Duh huh. Another slime. Duh huh. Flee the slimes. Just. Leave the crap out of them. It's the only way to deal with slimes, really. Fleeing. And now we go to the... I didn't... Well, I didn't mean to get that because I didn't think that was the axe, but it was. I can never remember which one is the axe. What an axe hole! Whoops. And the yoinkers. Now we're going this way. Why? I have no idea. Because we wanted to get that, whatever it is. We may never know. The world may never know, but... What you gonna do? Oh god, Medusas! Leave me alone! Well, I seem to be taking less damage, so... I guess maybe that's what the shield does? It just causes me to take less damage? If so, that's amazing. I love it. I will never complain about that situation again. I complain about some slimes, which I can't seem to avoid ever. Later, loser. Yep, I am the loser here. Clearly, yep, 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 by hearts. Thou shalt be missed. Maybe if I just run like absolute fucking hell, I can... You know what? I'll save this key for later, but I didn't save the key for later. I died! Immediately! Ooh. 
leap of leap of well not leap of faith just flat out a leap oh god why did I do that I knew it was wrong as soon as I did it and that time I hit the button but I didn't jump I didn't jump all right well We'll try again next time, I suppose. This game isn't getting any easier. But I'm learning little tips and tricks every time that I hope will eventually help me to figure it out. And like I said, I'm going to read the damn instruction booklet and see what all of these items do. So, until next time, thank you for watching. This has been your old pal, Rosser. Take a drink.